Hi, and welcome back to Huffler Garage. So we're back out here at the lake again today, working on our Hankai six horsepower. So today what we're gonna be doing is installing a hydrofoil onto our engine. And if you look at our last video, we tried the prop on my red dinghy. So this is what we're gonna do for the white dinghy and see if it can give it some help to get up on that plane and just overall improve what this engine can do. So we have my old skeg that came in broken. We saved it, luckily we did. So we can mock up putting this hydrofoil on here before we actually drill into the one that is mounted on the engine. So the hydrofoil that we are gonna be going with is an Atwood. We found this at Walmart. We did a lot of research trying to find a specific one for a Mercury and Tahatsu because this is basically a, an exact replica of it but everything seemed to be universal and after much research we ended up going with the atwood and with this atwood as you can see on this one uh, we weren't able to get it pushed all the way forward just the way it has to bolt up and we figured that out through some reviews we read and people that have installed this on their six horsepower hankais or tahatsus so this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna line it up and drill our holes and hopefully it's gonna work. We first tried to use the Stingray Junior and on this cavitation plate, it would not mount up properly. One guy was actually able to install it, but on the back holes, he had to do like half crescent and it wasn't a full hole to hold on at the back. And we just didn't feel like doing that. This one's gonna mount up better with both holes actually going through this cavitation plate. The tools we're going to need for this job is for the bolts and nuts, 11 millimeter wrench, 11 millimeter socket, and then a 930 seconds drill bit. Uh, in the instructions, it says you can use a quarter inch drill bit. We tried that when we mocked it up on the broken skeg, and unless you can drill really straight and accurate, that's not really a possibility. So the 930 seconds is gonna give you just a little wiggle room to, if your holes get off a little bit, you can still line them up. And so when we go to drill this cavitation plate for our hydrofoil, we're gonna line these up and make sure they're equally spaced and as straight as we can get them. We're gonna mark them with a Sharpie and we'll drill our holes and mount it up. So you can see we mocked up our pieces and marked our holes that we're gonna drill with a silver Sharpie. And now to just use that 930 seconds drill bit and drill and pop our holes into it. Now we have our holes drilled. We'll put these on here, grab our bolts. For the bolts, they're gonna go nut side up. So all you're gonna do Washer on. Our first one. Second hydrofoil piece. So sorry for that little cutoff, our camera overheated, but this is our finished product on the hydrofoil. When you go to tighten them nuts and bolts on, these are nylon locking nuts and you don't have to crank them down really hard. So just hand tighten 
and you'll see and feel how they are once you actually get those on. So this is what she looks like. Get this turned around here for you. And that is our view from the bottom. So we did take this out and test it a little bit just to give you a good notion of what it actually does. And it's, it definitely hits that plane faster overall. And also it seems to hold that plane when you're going through turns. It did knock about a mile an hour off of the top speed. We were able to really top out at about 13 most days but 11 miles an hour and it's steady, doesn't seem to uh, fluctuate on that speed. When you go over wakes, when you're turning, it seems to keep that speed. So as you just saw, the plane seems to ride a lot better. We got that speed while we're up on plane and we can show you a little clip of what it was like without the hydrofoil. But as you can see, if he hops up into the front of the boat, it allows the boat to get on the plane because we're moving more weight to the front of the boat there. Tell us what you think. We definitely think this was a great improvement to the six horsepower Henkai engine. So as you've seen, the plane seems to hold up really well with this hydrofoil. Please join us for our next video of our weekend trip to the Bahamas. Thank you for joining us. This wind. It's the wind, bro. You're just going to have to figure it out. Huh?